All right. It's another shining day here. Let's see where we're at. Is the wolf still out there? I'm so hungry. <gasps> oh, it's freezing out here though. It's nasty conditions. I can't go anywhere in this. I'm starving though. There's not a whole lot I can do. Temperature's falling fast. I don't know what the hell I can do. I could try to make a stick fire. But... I can eat what? Like some coffee? For a few hundred calories? Just drink, just drink, just like shotgun a bunch of coffee? And an herbal tea? These are worth like 100 calories a piece, so I could just drink a ton of coffee for 500 calories. Uh, it's probably time for another dose? Oh, I hate risking this, because I don't know if it's right. It's my last couple. Where are we at? Uh, we're down to two. So it was the right thing to do. I don't know what I can do here. I think given the situation, I, I'm better off starving to death than I am going outside. I'm going to be making a fire here. Hopefully the wind won't shift. I'm going to have to make it right in front of the porch here. I have a little bit of reclaimed wood. I can do it. Get close to this. Get the wind block. All right, here we go. We're going to make a bunch of coffee. That's how we survive. Damn Ugh. it. I like that, though. Nice morning coffee. It is the morning, right? It has that morning storm quality to it right now. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. That's done. Add some fuel. We only have one reclaimed wood and a bunch of sticks. Okay. How much coffee can I cook up, really? Uh, well, we want to make the herbal tea. No, not the herbal tea. The prepared mushroom tea. Cold is making cook my that. head feel thick. But we're at the fire. Oh, it's so cold out, though. We're not going to get any benefit from this. Uh... Let's get this one on there, select that, and uh, let's make a coffee. And then we'll come back in nine minutes. We kind of got to be aware of the time, I think. Too cold to think. The wind could shift while I'm in here, though, and the fire could go out, so that's the only concern right now. I could break this down. It takes two hours to break down, though. Uh, all right, we got a little bit of heat back. Let's go back outside. Three minutes, five minutes. Okay, we're good. Let's just go back inside. Keep going back and forth until we warm up. Got to maintain the heat in this cold, though. Until the storm lets up. I've already lost my well-fed bonus. I'm not too concerned now. All right, that should be enough. This is 42 minutes left, and this is done. And this is drink it. And now we just start shotgunning coffee. It's 115 calories we get from this one. I guess it's 115 because we get like a 15% bonus now. This will keep us warm also. Like I said, as long as the wind doesn't shift, we'll be all right. My clothes aren't getting wet. It's fine. I wonder what goes in that slot, if anything. I mean, I have something it has to. But it's maybe not something I'm aware of yet.
Bring that. Take that one. Um, the wind's let up a little bit. We got six minutes on the fire here still. I could throw a couple sticks on there. Cook up another round of... Oh, it's too windy to sustain the fire here. Oh, because the wind shifted. That's why. All right, we'll pick it up. Then that's fine. Temperature's still falling pretty bad. Okay, I got enough food to, like, give me by for a little while. We're not going to lose condition. We got the tea. And another dose of the pills still. I need more, more everything, though. Let's take some more inventory here. How's my clothing doing? Anything I can repair right now? Because it's, day, it's daytime hours. I should be repairing stuff. Uh, especially when I'm not hungry, I can actually do some things here. This is at 79, 77. That one needs the most work here. This is holding nicely. Uh, let's repair these guys. Takes it back to 100%. Beautiful. Uh, anything else? It's 94. Ooh, sounds like the wind stopped. Possibly. Did. Okay. Well. We saw wolves in every direction so far. It looks like the underpass over here takes us right back to where we're heading to anyway, so I should probably just take the bridge over. Otherwise, I can walk down the mountain, maybe, and get to the... Because right now we're here. I think right now we can, we can head down to here. There's not going to be any food there, but we could possibly fish. Frozen corpse. A train unloading. Did we walk that far? I guess we did. Okay, here's hoping that we don't... Well... I don't know if we should walk downwards towards those cabins. Because I know that that's the way out of here. That's the way out of here. It's not up here. I don't know where up here takes us. There's a couple things I wish the game had in it. One would be a compass. I mean, I guess it would be too easy. Because you're supposed to navigate by landmarks in this game. There's deer and rabbits. I can't hunt anything just yet, but I will hunt something soon. That'd be a great way to get some food back. Um, I keep an eye out for saplings, too. I don't know if there's going to be any over here, but... I don't think I'm ready to hunt the deer. I'm starving, though. I mean, I could. It's snowing, though. I need a nice, like, clear, warm day to do this. So here the landmark I'm using is... Is that a bear? It is a bear right ahead of us. Let's go this way. Here the landmark I'm using is the coastline. I can see that it's just kind of clear skies over there. Ooh, what's this? Cabin in the woods. Nothing bad ever happens at a cabin in the woods. Um, There's a branch here too. That's interesting. Uh, let's grab these rose hips. Not that I need that particular tea right now. But. I might someday. Let's grab this log if we can. 45 minutes with the hatchet. I think it's worthwhile. A lot of good firewood out of that. Okay. Things are clear. Let's take a look at this house. I might have to drop some gear. Oh no. Not dropping anything. Well, this is nice. This is stylish. There's food. There's a cassette tape. More food. It's a cooler. Just out of this. Dog food? Oh man. It's all good. Simple park, I don't need that. Got down here. I mean, I'll take it for now. What I need is a better roll. This seems like the kind of place that would have one, though. Got a coffee maker. He's got a broom. I have plenty of tinder plugs, I'm pretty sure. 
Actually, no, I burned it through a couple of them. Let's grab these stacks of paper. Let's eat the dog food. That dog food does not need to be heated up. So, also, it'll give me a chance to let my clothes uh, get back here. It's a 21%. I might end up with food poisoning again, in which case I die. No, I take that back. I can always drink the tea. I can drink the tea if I don't. If I, okay, let's just do it. It's a risk. If I get food poisoning, I can always take the thing and sleep. Okay, here we go. No, no food poisoning. Okay. All right. So, good. I'm happy with that result. Uh, let's see. I wanted to make a tinder plug or two. And then, let's see if there's anything else here. Pretty well cleaned up, but this is quaint. I like it when there's a lot of clutter in the house. And there's cloth to grab and that kind of thing here. I mean, it's not totally empty. Oh, this guy took a photo of the bear. That's fun. What have we here? Why? Why is that in there? Ooh, a paddle. That's fun. Just break it down for 12 minutes. Sure, why not? And the pack is way overweight now. It's only two two kilograms. That's fine. Okay, so uh, yeah, kilograms. I always, I, I mean, you guys have been who've been watching this long enough know that I constantly, it's like it's like a coin flip. If I accidentally say kilograms or accidentally say pounds, uh, it's just really a coin flip whether I'm going to say it right or not. And uh, <laughs> there's so many comments that are like, oh, you know, you can switch that. Oh, you know, you can switch that to imperial units. Oh, yeah. You don't have to use that. You do, because it's it's Canada. It would be inauthentic to use anything else except for uh, the Canadian measurements. I can't uh, can't not do that. It ruins my immersion. If everything's in uh, imperial. Also, now I've been playing on. Now I've been playing on the scientific measurements for so long. That even though I constantly refer to them in the wrong units, the numbers all make sense to me. Like, I know that 1.5 water is enough for a day or so, so I don't carry more than that. Like, I don't know what that is in gallons. I don't know how much, how, what are the gallons I'm supposed to carry. I'll start carrying around 1.5 gallons, and that's not going to be right. That's way too much. So, I feel like I'm so used to the, the game mechanics at this point. Even if I'm not used to the nomenclature, I'm used to the mechanics at this point. That I can't switch without like needing to relearn the entire game. Like, how do I know how much how much cloth I have? It's only it's only 400 pounds. Is that too much? How would I know? I know it would be in kilograms. And that's a lot. So I'm not gonna not gonna switch. And I, at some point, I'll just embrace that. That's like I'm not even gonna like call myself out on it anymore. I'm just gonna embrace that I'm gonna get it wrong, and you can all just deal with it. <laughs> that's that's my promise to you guys. At some point, I'll just, like, drop all pretense and just refer to it only as pounds. No left behind. I don't really care. I don't want to make their problems my problems. Come on, food. Where you at? We're carrying some. So, as we walk forward here, going to map. We are into Cedar Limbs territory here. Vehicles, Cedar Limbs, and Fur Limbs all down the road. Okay. So, now I'm debating if we're not going the wrong way. Because I thought that... Maybe I'm thinking of a different map. I thought this is the entrance way, but I don't know now. Unless it is, and I'm just... It's this further than I thought it was. Because I thought those... Things. I guess we go across the bridge. I don't know. I don't know. I could eat anything right there. Yeah, I know, buddy. And actually, you do have some food on you. You don't have to suffer. Eat this. Then you drink a little bit of water. Then you got some beans for dinner. We'll drink a coffee later. Should be fabulous. So, we have a down line here. 
This is nothing. Rockfall. Is there anything exciting with Rockfall? Fur limbs? Have we been over to Rockfall before? How would I know? So maybe I do need to wind my way back through the mountains. I'm not I'm 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 a little foggy on the map a little bit now. I know it's on this side of the map, but it felt I felt like it was in the north northwest of the map is where the exit is. So maybe I do need to head up this way. To get around the rock fall. And already my fatigue is starting to fail starting to fail me. And again, I'm gonna be caught out here with no place to sleep. It's when we're gonna experiment with a car and see if we can sleep in a car. Cause I would be fascinated to find out. We haven't tried it. This feels like it's something. All I can think about is food. You're not that hungry. You've been way less hungry now than at any point in the last couple episodes here. Look at this big branch. Cedar limb, one hour for five pieces of wood. That's fascinating. Well, I'm not going to do it right now, but is this a cave over here? What's the deal? It's a cave. I'm going to be cautious. No, it's just a dead end. Hmm. Okay. Well, we keep going north. Oh, we, hey, we got a free deer. Hello, hello. So, this is a good one, actually. Uh, it has 1.5 kilograms of meat, two gut, one hide. Um, this is a good one because there is a lot of wood around here. So, I can just light a fire next to it, let it thaw a little bit, then cook it up as we go. There's also crows over here. I don't know why the crows are over here. Oh, they're, they're over there. Mind, it's the shadows. Shadow angles. Um. Yeah, let's eat that. We make a fire next to it. We use the fire to cook and then harvest it. And let's do this quick here. Fertile limb, forty-five minutes, hundred fifty calories. Break it down. That'll give us a fair bit of meat. I don't think I'm going to get the gut off of this right now. I do maybe want the hide. There was some debate in my comments on some of the videos that people are kind of disagreeing about uh, whether or not hides, raw hide, will attract wolves or not. What I've noticed is that when you have something that attracts wolves, it's like a Stark. Like, they're definitely tracking you now. They're definitely changing their course to be next to you. Whereas... Sometimes, well, usually you can tell they're just milling around, not doing anything. But if you are carrying something they want, it's like, it's like laser focus. And so I think that we can use that to test it. I do want the hide off this creature, but I don't think I want the gut. We have so much gut. So that's an hour. See what happens. Now it's going to start default thawing. Okay. It's going to take less time to, to harvest then. Uh, well, let's let it be for a second. Uh, let's add some more. Let's add one more log on there. Because I have so much weight already. And the higher heat will help us cook it faster. Let's assume that. We still managed to keep this. That's good. Um, I don't want to cook that up just yet. I want to hang on to it. I want to cook up a coffee. There's a lot of coffee in there. But only nine minutes. Drink it. Okay, let's get the meat. 26 minutes. 13 minutes, 61 calories for the hatchet. Let's do the hatchet. The nice part here, though, is we're not going to attract wolves because we have the fire. Uh, we have... Let's let the hide dethaw a little bit here. We'll start cooking the meat. Um, we have the moldy venison right here. 
Let's see, 433 and 920. Let's cook up the big one first. And then we'll cook the little one over here. Because again, I don't want to carry any meat with me. But calories in my stomach don't uh, attract wolves. Oddly enough. Thirty minutes versus forty-five minutes. Let's do the thirty. I need to find food. And that should be just about done then. So we gotta hide. Now I don't have any scent, according to the game, right now. Eat that. It's gonna give me plenty of calories. Eat that. Plenty of calories. We have fifteen minutes left. Let's um. Cook a water. It's gonna de thaw it. Let's do this. And let's see if we can sit here and read something quick. You're not healthy enough to focus on research. Oh, I can't. That's right. My brain won't work because I'm not. I have intestinal parasites. The game won't let me do anything. Let's just do this then. Okay. Still a nice day out. Still midday-ish. We have carrying too much water, obviously. We'll lighten the load as we go. We have many calories now. The only thing we don't have is sleep. And that's going to become a bigger and bigger factor as we move on here. We have, we have slowed down quite a bit now. And I think the fatigue's fading fast because we're carrying so much now. The hide is very heavy. I think I need to head this way. Hey, and you know, if we do a loop and we end up back at the cabin I found, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Let's just be on our guard. Look for a place to sleep. Worst case scenario, I might have enough cloth on me to make a snow shelter. So this doesn't seem like the way. But it does seem like a walk fast, at least, going down a hill. Let's map it quick. I'm over here. Cattail plants. Not something I want to get right now, but I might want to walk that direction. I don't see a house that direction, though. Should maybe be concerned about where I'm going to sleep tonight. Okay, let's go back. Let's follow this path this direction. I think this will take us back downwards towards that cabin we found. There's a stone bridge there. That's civilization. Worst case scenario, I hightail it over to the uh, fishing cabins. You know, there might even be a sleeping bag over there. Who knows? I don't pick up these things. I only need one sleeping bag. So I don't pick them up when I don't need them. But, it could be a thing. Let's go this way. I think that the... As long as the bear's not over here. I think that the uh, cabins are right over here then. We can regroup, we can reassess, we can fish maybe, get even more calories. We'll be in good shape, I think. All things considered. Yeah, it's a long walk still. A lot of danger that can happen between here and there too. It looks relatively safe. Is that ice fishing, sh is that? Is that shanties over there, or is that, like, the cabins, or is that a different building? Well, let's just keep moving. We'll get there. We'll be getting there just in time for us to fall asleep, but I'll, I'll make it. And then... Where are all the wolves at? I know I'm, like, like... 
asking for trouble, but it's a little concerning to me that there's none. Oh, I should walk it on the path. There should it'd be a lot easier to walk on the path. There we go. I don't know where they are. In any event, we have this whole coastline mapped, right? For the most part. I think we're headed to the fishing camp, though. And now that I say that, I feel like I was on the right path before going up to the ravine then. I was, I was, I was supposed to take the high road, not the low road here. Which, I don't know why that makes sense to me, but I guess it does. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, fishing camp. I just thought the very first time we came here, I thought we came in this way. So I thought the entrance way was over there. I don't know. I really don't know. Clearly been here before because there's nothing. Let's go take a look at another cabin here quick. I just want to see if there's a place I would have stashed something. Are these cabins numbered? Doesn't seem that way. Crate. Search backpack. Here we go. Nice. 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 I can't believe I left this much food behind. Oh my god. Well, we're set. I love it. Okay, we have a climbing rope also. I don't know what I can do with that, but I should probably take it with me when I leave. I don't know. So much food, though. So much food. Love it. There's some extra boots in here. There's some things I can use to, to level up my skills if I want to. I can leave this in here. It's looking very good. I didn't leave any pills behind, unfortunately. Lots of firewood, though. Lots of firewood. Okay, well. It's getting late. I should probably sleep. And find the bed. Let's leave cabin. I saw it. Bed. Sleep for... 10 hours. It's a good rest. It's a really good rest. Now, I'm not going to make that mistake with parasites ever again, at least. Oh, we woke ourselves up, I think, from being thirsty. It's very dark out. We should probably try to head outside if we can. See how light it is out here? Maybe light up a fire and cook some of this stuff? Is there a fire in front of any of these cabins? Let's go check another look at the other cabins quick here. If that's what's in one of them, what's in the other ones? Not a lot of fuel left in this one. Just running out of fumes. There's some loafers. Negative. Did I pick up any fuel? I don't think so. I don't want to waste a flare just looking around the buildings. I might as well sleep a little bit longer. There's something in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Food. Painkillers. Uh, antiseptic bottle. Yes, please. Holy cow. Why wouldn't I combine these into one? Because it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're going in the wrong direction on our weight, but we're looking for food anyway, so it's not a big deal. And I have uh, one log, enough stuff to start a fire with. I think we got enough to cook with.
since we have the condition, I'm just gonna sleep. Beautiful day out, I think. Oh, look at all this wood here. Oh, wind's picking up though. Some free socks. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to travel anywhere right now. But we can cook up some food, get some calories, and we're on our last day of parasites, I think. Two doses remaining. Uh, let's take a pill. <gasps> One dose remaining. Okay, we need to place. We need to place to do a fire. <gasps> Look at all this meat! Oh my god! Okay, so yes to the fire, please. We can cook up so much with that meat. We need enough wood. I'm gonna have to run to the house quick and grab enough wood. Keep it going here. Cook up all that meat. And even if I just cook it and let it sit on the ground, this will be good. This will be a good project, actually. That did it. Add that in. Leave that going. Uh, cook it. Yes, please. Oh, we're gonna have so many calories now. We're just gonna do some raw cooking here like that. That one's 51, that one's 39. Can I sneak through here without lighting myself on fire? I have to go around the side. I just wanna grab some more wood quick. I think it was in this one. Just so that I can uh, keep the fire going longer, cook up all this, all this, all this uh, meat. This is gonna be so good. So yeah, let's stay here and cook for the day. If the fire goes out, I'll relight it. I have enough stuff to relight it again. Keep an eye on it. This is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna have so many calories. Thanks past me for saving the day.